All right, friends, I got a new toy, I guess, and I'm super excited about it, so I wanted to share it with you all because I think you're gonna love it as well. So here it is, this is the big surprise that I got. So um, I ordered this from Amazon, I've been on the hunt for this. Um, I wanted to get it a while ago, but um, it was all sold out and then I went ahead and looked again and there it was and I had to get it. This is an adjustable form. So uh, an adjustable dress form. I'm super excited about it. I already wrinkled the paper because I was like, ah! anyway. Okay, so why I wanted this dress form is because I want to be able to drape clothing right on the dress form and kind of show you all how I am going about it. I am learning as I go, so uh, we are going to learn together. So I wanted to show you this. I wanted to show you how easy it is to put it together, or so I think. And then, um, yeah, and I'll be doing some videos to show you how I'm going to be draping and doing things with it. All right, so it comes in different colors, and I got the dark gray color. I'm already going to break it. I got the dark gray color because I wanted something that's not going to show, like, um, I don't know, like, marks or whatever. But I didn't really necessarily want it to be super dark. Um, and so I went with the dark gray. And what's really great about these is that there's different sizes. So there's like small, medium, large, um, and then there's a range of sizes within each size that you get your mannequin. So what you do is you measure yourself first, you take your true measurements, and then when you go on there to order it, it'll show you what sizes fit into each size. And then what you do is once you put it together, they have these dials here that make it open up and then ends up fitting the sizing um, that you need for your body. There's here, there's on the sides, on the back. I mean, it's everywhere. So you're going to be moving and adjusting this to your personal size. Now, what's really cool too is that because it's adjustable, um, you could have like the different sizes if you're sewing for other people as well, and then adjust it to their size. Um, that way it'll be easy to sew something for somebody else as well. So we're gonna put it together. And then um, I'm gonna show you what it looks like once it's put together and then we're gonna try to dial it in for my size. Um, it does come with a little book of instructions on how to uh, put it together and how to, um, I guess, adjust it. The assembling, I think it's gonna be really easy. I've assembled a mannequin before, so the one that's behind me, uh, you probably can't see it, but you, I'm sure you see it in all our, my videos, um, is just a regular uh, like mannequin where I can put clothes on, but it doesn't, it's not my size, it's smaller than I am. And so it's not, it's not um, convenient for like draping or making something that will be my size. Um, I wanted something that will be my exact sizing, so if I'm sewing something and I gotta take it in or anything like that, I can use the mannequin to do those things. I think it'll make it a little bit easier uh, for altering my clothing and for getting a, a good fit. Uh, so that's why I wanted to get this uh, form. All right, so first of all, I know I'm not even following the directions. I'm really bad. I know that this is where the legs go, so I'm gonna go ahead and start attaching those legs. Uh, there's a hole in the top, which is where the bar is gonna go, so I know that the legs are supposed to face down. Um, it comes with these little legs. Um, they are not, these are not wheels, and I don't think it came with wheels unless I'm missing a box somewhere. Um, I think it just comes with just standalone, but I think you could if you wanted to put wheels on it. Um, I feel like this would be interchangeable. Yes, you can unscrew them and screw some wheels on there if you wanted to have wheels. I actually do not use the wheels on here anyway because I have carpet and part of the floor and they just get stuck anyway so um, I'm okay with it not having wheels. Okay so it's got this pole um, that has uh, the sizing on it which is great because if you want to be able to hem something and you want it the length it also has this neat little hem gauge so it's really nice because with this one, you'll be able to uh, 
see where the hem is supposed to hit and you'll be able to use it to guide you on hemming. I don't really know, um, I think I'm putting this on backwards. Does it go this way? I have to look at the, no, it doesn't go this way. It must go this way, yeah. Uh, and I'm going to, I gotta look at the instructions and everything on how to use it and I'll be showing you that as well later. Right now we're just putting it together. But look at how neat this is. So I will stop it wherever I want the length to be and I will be able to guide my hem when I am hemming. Okay, so here we go. And then I'm going to put my mannequin on there. It's got this little, I'm gonna put it on the ground. All right, so you can twist this little knob and it also has measurements on this bar so that you can uh, size it up, you know, to your measurements, which again, I will be doing later. Um, and then here's a little handle and you're going to fit that right in. And here it is already put together, my mannequin. And then all I gotta do is make sure that I uh, adjust the whole form. I'm going to go read my instructions and start adjusting. And then I'm gonna come show you how to do it and how exciting. I hope you love it. What do you think? Comment below and let me know um, if you have one of these, if you love it. Um, tell me some tips and some tricks about it um, that you would love to have known when you first received it. And let me know, comment below and let me know um, what you think I should name uh, this form. So um, I have already an L, that's what the form is over there, but I want a new name for this one. So you let me know what you think I should name her. Um, but yeah, that's it. So let me get to it. All right, so I've sort of put it together. So I wanted to show you. Um, the really cool thing is that it has the dials, like I said, with the sizing on it. So what I did is I go ahead and grab my measurements and change all these dials um, so the, um, the bust, um, is on, changed on, all of them are changed front, back, and sides. So that way, cause there is, it's divided into like four pieces, one, two, three, and four. So that way it gives it a better, uh, shape. And then again, for the waist and the hip. Now, one thing that was really cool that I didn't realize is also that it has this piece at the bottom and um, it's gonna be hard to see. I'll show you. Um, it's got like these little teeth. It looks like this. And then right here, once you place it on here, um, you once you hook it on, and I know it's gonna be hard to show you. We're probably not gonna be able to see it. Well, no, I'm not probably not gonna be able to let you see it. But it's got this like tubey thing inside of here that once it latches on, you can change the uh the height of the the waist the seam because you know we all have different side seams mine is a little bit longer than some so i cannot just buy like one piece suits or jumpsuits or stuff like that um um off the rack because they are usually too short at the waist because i have a longer torso um so we can change that as well which is really great for me because like i said i don't have a regular length so i can measure and make sure that it's the same as mine you can also widen or the neck, um, depending on your neck size and the height. You can set your height so it's a, your, the same height as you. And then it's got the little lever at the bottom that you can move up and down depending on where you want your hem to be. And so you can lay right next to it. And it's so great. I am loving it. So um, yeah, that's it. That's all there's to it. It's all set up. Um, it's got the wheels all ready to go. I'm gonna use, once I set up, what I like to do is once it's already set on my sizing, use your measuring tape, measure yourself, and then measure um, the mannequin again to make sure that it's correct. Um, in case the, the wheels had gotten a little bit stuck or something like that, you can get the perfect measurement that you want it to have. Um, but that's it. I'm going to, my next step is to buy some um, tape, some draping tape. It's this really thin tape that is kind of like, I, I would say like a masking tape almost, 
but it's thin tip that you can place on the bodice and give you lines of where you want to create your pattern. Let's say I want to create a scoop top. I would grab it and place my tape. I don't have any tape right here in front of me right now, so I can't show you that. But once I get some, I'm going to make a video on a project on how to create something on this uh, dress form. So you would place the tape all the way around and then uh, let's see it uh, here out of the shoulders and where you want it to end and whatnot. And then you could place your fabric right on it, right along those lines that you created to create your pattern piece. After that, you'll have to add seam allowance and such, but um, you'll have the perfect shape. So I'm super excited about it. Go ahead and comment below, um, answer all my questions. Let me know if you're excited about it as much as I am. And we'll see you next time with a name and with a project. Also, oh, don't forget, I'll add a link to this one below. Um, so if you want to go grab it, you can go grab it. Um, uh, like I said, it's from Amazon. Uh, so yeah, see ya.